A 106-page letter was sent to Michigan State officials via a former coach, Mel Tucker's lawyer. The letter, which has since been released to the media, states that the accuser, Brenda Tracy, appears to have made a career out of misleading and manipulating people. Tracy filed a formal complaint against Tucker with Michigan State's officials of civil rights in December 2022. The university made Tucker's firing official on September 27. Tucker's lawyer then sent a note to safeguard documentation in anticipation of litigation. This week's letter also alleges that Tracy manipulated a key witness and deleted key evidence. Tucker had approximately $80 million remaining on his contract, but the school, which states it fired him for cause, is attempting to avoid paying any of the remaining money. In a statement, the university stated that Tucker's contract was terminated due to his admitted and undisputed behaviors, which have brought public disrespect, contempt, and ridicule upon the university and constitute a material breach of his agreement and moral turpitude. The letter appears to be an attempt to show Tracy made conflicting statements. One portion of the letter suggests that the ulterior motives were at play when Tracy filed the complaint, one being her alleged desire for financial gain. Quote, I'm filing a formal complaint with MSU. My lawyer said that we can let him know that we want to come to an agreement, then it doesn't have to go to a hearing or anything unless he wants it to. Quote, money is my only recourse to make him feel like there is a punishment and when they do the money, I should make him pay me 10K directly. The letter also claims that MSU investigation failed to attempt to get fulsome text exchange for the Office of Intuitional Equity Investigation. Tucker has argued that the interaction he had with Tracy over the phone was consensual. However, Tracy has previously stated that that was not the case. The letter was released minutes after the misconduct hearing began Thursday morning. Tucker did not attend and his letter states that he would miss the hearing due to a medical condition. Now, let me just reiterate what I stated uh, back in a previous live stream. Um. Now, again, I felt from the very beginning that this was a consensual conversation that both him and the woman there uh, were having directly over the phone, because normally there has to be some type of familiarity in order for certain types of talk or conversations to happen. And again, somebody had to give somebody their number. Somebody had to agree to, OK, like, hey, let's talk on the phone, let's, you know, what not or whatever conversations and more than likely a multitude of conversations outside of this have happened, which have had led to the OK or the consent of the type of actions that the ex-football coach decided to take at that point in time. Now, again, I want to state that he did put himself directly in the situation by deciding to have that type of conversation. Um, to enact that type of behavior, because I've stated that as a man and you know that you have money, you have some type of power, you have some type of a name, you are a target. And nine times out of 10, you will have a field of women who are hungry, who want money, who see dollar signs. And you have lawyers out there that see the same dollar signs as well. They will tag team and team up with these women, become Voltron, and they will come directly at you in order to defeat you and take what it is that you have. Now, again, This should be an example to a lot of other men out there that have money that you are seen as a mark. You are seen as a target and it would behoove you to make sure that you know uh, who it is that you are talking to, the specific women. You need to have certain safeguards directly set up. And if you know that you have something very important, like a contract worth $80 million, it would behoove you. It would behoove you to make sure that you have all of your T's crossed and your I's dotted before you make any type of moves at all. Once you get to that extent where you got contracts on the line, where you got multi-million dollar contracts, you might want to start bringing up some contracts of your own. You might want to start bringing up some NDAs of your own so that things like this don't specifically happen. So that if any of these women sign an NDA and they decide to break an NDA and tell whatever information or release whatever they want to release, well, guess what? You're going to full-fledged sue them. And you're going to take them directly for everything the same exact way that those women would have tried to take you for everything if you didn't have any of those things in place, such as 
the ex uh, Michigan coach that we're talking about this moment in time. Again, I just need men to be smarter. I need men to be smarter. I need men to stop falling into the easy trap of thinking that, you know, these women really want you, that they really actually care. They just care about the money. So let me know what you guys think about the story and everything that I stated in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.